Have you ever been in a situation where you look across the business world and you see some businesses operating better or some professional group that's doing similar things like you do, but it just seems like their teams are more on it and more together and more persistent and quality all of the things that matters that make something efficient and excellent, it just seems like those teams are more effective. Well, there is something that is very critical if you really want to have high performing teams around you and you want to really get good at getting people to achieve the most consistent result in a specific environment, whether that's a specific professional environment, some environment in your business, even things you do at home. And I wanna to talk to you about the necessity of how to break things down and why it is something that people many times skip over and it's the reason that a lot of times they're not able to get the result through others that they desire to. Well, you know, if you're gonna be an individual that creates a certain amount of success, you have to be able to get things done through others. If you don't realize that, at some point, you will definitely understand that if you wanna go far, you have to begin to get other people to come with you. You have to get other people to be able to see what you're trying to do, and not only that, to want to follow your leadership. And when you start thinking about leadership, sometimes we think about maybe knowing what to tell someone to, to do or making sure you give direction, but we oftentimes don't think about how to create a situation in which it's easy to follow it is the, the instructions or the, the outcomes that you desire to see. Like how easy can I make it for someone to actually you know, know how to move forward in a way that will get me that consistent result? Well, sometimes because we don't think about that, we don't really put the work into doing that, we simply just tell people again what we want them to do and what we want to happen, and we always end up being the auditor or we always get back to, I'll do it myself. And so this is again, the thing that we wanna get away from. We wanna understand how do we actually begin to look at things differently? When there's something that we wanna get done, how can we really understand that, that thing that we're doing and really break it down enough into bite sizes that are chewable by a team? Because when it becomes bite-sized, then everyone can become a part of what's supposed to happen. Now, let's go to my whiteboard for a minute. And when you think about a lot of times, um, all of us have a certain amount of expertise in something, right? So we have expertise in something. And let's say that, you know, that expertise kind of looks like this big box, right? So... These are the things that you've acquired and that you understand. And so um, maybe you have expertise about using some sort of technology or some level of equipment, or maybe you have expertise about cooking. Maybe you have expertise about some things that you have to do uh, from a fitness perspective, or maybe it's processes within an operation that make sure that uh, there are certain things that are done a certain way in a production sequence, whatever it is. That expertise is something that is in someone's head, it's in someone's uh, experience base, right? Their skill base, their knowledge base. Well, when you start to be able to, first of all, define that expertise and define that expertise clear enough so that you understand why this exper expertise is even valuable and the, the way we define its value is by the outcome that it can create. And once we understand the outcome that we want, we back into the expertise that is needed to produce that outcome. And when we think about the expertise, we can't just let expertise be this blah, this box, this just big thing. We have to start to be able to break things down. So I want you to see for a minute, I can take this box uh, and I can begin to separate this box, let's say on these levels, and Imagine that now I've taken something that was just one thing, right? And I've created many different levels to it, right? Many different you know, elements of it. Now, some people are able to think, uh, you know, very modular and they're able to think through, you know, s you know here's the five main things that requ you require to know to do this or whatever, right? But Look at if I continue with this, right? What about we start to do this? Now we're looking at this expertise still, 
But now I want you to look at how we're getting a little bit more granular. And if each one of these areas represents the core things you need to understand, right? And you start to break things down, right? So it's when you start to break things down. Now, some people make it this far and you can see some of the major elements of this particular expertise. Let's say there are seven main areas. But when you actually start to go deeper and see that here's some specific things in each of these blocks that are critical to actually doing this thing the right way. Well, when you start to, again, break things down and you're able to take, for example, now that I understand that, I can take this whole area, for example, and I can create an understanding, right? I can take this, break these pieces out, and I can really think about how do I master each part of this component in a way where people know what to do and how to do it to a certain level of expertise, right? Same thing here and I can begin to master. And when I begin to, to do this, what happens is this is how actual strong, high producing teams and companies really get an advantage on many others because few people want to take the time to break things down. Now, how do you think some ordinary company becomes a franchise, right? How do they become something that's scalable? How do they go from a sandwich shop to a nationally recognized, um, you know, um, chain? You know, it is the people who are able to break things down because now when I break components down and I'm able to break down what is actually happening, then I can begin to more appropriately think about the people who can do the work. And sometimes you might have an individual that is really good for specific type of work or components within this particular expertise. And sometimes there is an individual that can do more than one of those components, right? So we can have somebody who can do more than one of those components. So we start to think about now that I really truly understand and break things down, it makes my ability to train and develop go to a whole nother level because I'm now understanding the, the, the breakdown of this particular expertise in such a way that I'm able to isolate the, the, the independent things that someone needs to do and understand so that they can master that aspect of whatever this expertise is. When all of this comes together and you start to build standards around it, this is how you take an expertise and you turn it into an experience. Where now that experience uh, is translated to other people. The expertise a lot of times is, you know, found in that person who knows how to do things. But when you can take that expertise and turn it into an experience, a learning experience, a, a development experience, when you can turn it into a standardized experience, all of that is what allows you to get other people doing the same thing, replicating themselves, replicating behaviors, duplicating uh, uh, the different actions that should be taken. And then as a result, you begin to duplicate the actual outcome that you always want to see. And you make sure that that team now is stronger because now that I actually have this, right? So think about it like this. Uh, I can go from expertise to experience, right? So we talked about that, but I can keep going to everyone. And what we mean here is to create standards and tools to reinforce 
the experience so that almost anyone can do it. This is what we mean by the everyone, right? The expertise, we start off with the isolated knowledge of one. And in the experience, we create the collaborative opportunity for others to learn. And then we get to the point where that experience has been enhanced by tools and standards where now we actually have something that everyone can do. So this is what we talk about when we say break it down, right? This is what allows us to build those high performance teams. It's the people who go through this grueling process of thinking about their work at such a detailed level that that work then can be translated to an experience that others can follow and then standardize it in a way that everyone can do it the same way. So if you know that you are required to really create uh, an environment where people can perform at a high level, doing the things that you really need them to do, make sure you don't stay at the high level, but that you break it down. And when you break it down, break it down with purpose so that you can get the outcome and the results that you want. I'm Michael Lee Parker, and until then, keep building strong teams, and if you do, you'll build a strong company.